The world's coldest continent is both perilous and peaceful. Antarctica's icy landmass, twice the size of Australia, remained hidden, untouched by humans, until 200 years ago. If nobody had been down there, all there were was uh, on the charts was ice. That was, uh, that was it, so they went actually off the charts. This Russian naval officer was the first person known to have laid eyes on Antarctica's ice shelf in 1820. That discovery sparked a rush of hunters and other explorers seeking to plant their flag and lay their claim to Earth's final frontier. Countries, for example, went to great lengths to put their Antarctic stations all over Antarctica and to raise national flags to say, we're here, we're busy, this is ours. Some countries, such as Argentina, even transported a pregnant woman to give birth on the frozen continent, hoping to strengthen their claim. Today, those territorial tensions are mostly kept at bay thanks to a global treaty of more than 50 countries, including Canada, to promote scientific cooperation. But the continent now faces a much greater existential threat. Antarctica has been frozen for millions of years. At the end of the last ice age, the continent's ice sheet was shrinking at a rate of around one meter per year. But scientists warn that process is accelerating, the ice melting six times faster as climate change turns up the heat. Lewis Pugh has seen the impact of rising sea levels up close. The British endurance swimmer, nicknamed the human polar bear, just became the first person to swim beneath an Antarctica ice sheet to show the world what it's about to lose. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen anything as beautiful as this. Scientists recently revealed that underwater glacial melting is happening up to 100 times faster than they thought. This place needs protecting. It needs protecting because all our futures depend on it. Pew is now calling on those same countries who agreed to share this continent to also help ensure it doesn't look much different 200 years from now. Jeff Semple, Global News.